Hi everyone! Good day! This is Teacher Marge. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about separating mixtures through evaporation. Quarter 1, Module 2, Lesson 2. After going through this lesson, everybody are expected to identify mixtures that can be separated through evaporation. Identify the process of separating mixtures which use evaporation technique and apply the evaporation technique in everyday life. One of the main ingredients in cooking food is salt. Salt serves as important element in our planet because of its many uses. We often see the crystal white color that adds savor to our everyday meal. The salt is also be used as component of other products sold in the market. But have you ever wondered how salts are made? In this lesson, we are going to learn about evaporation process and its examples. But before we proceed of what is evaporation is, let us have first what is heat. Heat is an important component to our environment as it makes green things live and grow abundantly. The presence of the sun's heat serves as the main source of energy in our planet as it brings many uses to the biotic known as living things and abiotic or non-living things components of our surroundings. As heat is used by animals and plants as the main source of energy, it is also useful in so many things in the process of evaporation as one of the techniques in separating mixtures. So what is evaporation? Evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the solid residue. Heat, being the main component in this process, separates the mixtures of solid from a liquid. As liquid goes in the air in a form of gas when heated. Changing liquid to gas as an example of physical change. Evaporations happen when a liquid substance becomes a gas. When water is heated, it evaporates. The molecules move and vibrates so quickly that they escape into the atmosphere as molecules of water vapor. Here are some examples of evaporations. Boiling water, drying clothes, drying of wet roads after heavy rain, ironing of clothes, drying wet hair, and melting of ice cubes. Now let us check what you have learned for today. Read the conditions stated in the box. Pick out those that undergo evaporation process. Then write your answer on a piece of paper. Are you ready? Let us begin. Okay, that would be all for today. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for my future videos.